Okay, so we were just talking about, like, I don't know, uh, stuff that it took to get to where we are, I guess, kind of thing. Um, so, um, like, Dre, where where do you see yourself within the year? Like, is there is there more that you want to do this year? Like, is there is there plans for this year? Is there more videos for this year? Is there more singles, albums? Um, like, how do you feel? This year... I feel like I really plan to step out as an artist. <laughs> Beautiful. And release more music than I've done ever. Like, ever. Ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Cause you tec- cause technically you- I've released, but I've only released as feature as a feature. I yeah, haven't released yeah. myself. I was going to say, there we go. Okay. You know? Good to and know. And it's different when it's different when it's your stuff versus just being a feature because it's like you do the you do the verse and then you just pass off like all right cool i did my verse i know it's fire yeah yeah, yeah. whereas like this is my song Mm -hmm. and i have to release this under my name do you feel like um like ray helped you at all like in terms of of course yeah of Uh, course ray storm helped me (laughs) <laughs> from start to finish bro. for real okay not even yeah. finished because we ain't done <laughs> we, there we go hey i love to hear something he like started that. from start because honestly when i started just writing myself and i told him i was writing he jumped right in the rap there we go <laughs> he said oh he like, really i need a feature i want to rap yeah. he was like, he was like oh i want to rap i want to try that then next thing you know he started doing rap and he started making music and then he started making songs and it was different and i was Bro, like okay he, there was a time it was actually for his last project i forget what it's called right now light year light year there we go thank you um when he he had released that and he had sent it to me because we were talking a little bit before that mm-hmm. and i remember like crying <laughs> when when i actually heard it because i th- i think ray's a uh, kind of a different artist than we yeah. usually get out of the bay he he says a lot of real things he produces his own music and he says things that kind of just hit your chest a little bit you know what i mean so like hearing that from you is kind of like so it lets me know that like you are also on that like creative tip like in terms of like kind of like uh i feel like I'm not saying like trying to shit on the bay scene at all Mm-mm. but like the like a lot of bay people just talk about like music money and killing people mm-hmm. and like you guys are talking about like honestly the way shit. the way i could say it is is we just tired of lying not lying that, but like but putting this stuff so in the back like real. we just want real rap now yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. exactly like, no 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 i totally feel you there are people i know who are f- from rebel you too and they're like you know they like talk about like killing x y and z i'm like bro you are square too like i'm a square so i can say that like you're a nerd like you're i'm a nerd you're a nerd too you know what i mean and it feels weird to hear it from someone who it's like you've never done any of this stuff that you're talking about but when i hear what you're saying like the 6am verse and or the 6am track and like everything like it feels very authentic it feels very real and that's all i feel like i want in hip-hop you know what i mean like that's what i'm expecting um but so like do you have any plans for more like are you planning to drop something else this year or are you kind of just kind of planning about your year? yes i'm planning to drop more music this okay. year there we go that's what i want to um <laughs> actually i'm supposed actually i am working on a project it's there called had better days okay and watch out for it I can't give you a timetable right now, but that's fine. I can tell no. you that I am working on it hard. Um, okay, that's cool. First, the lady to, over ooh. there will be on the project, Aaliyah. Oh, yeah. you, you the one in the middle also will be on the project. Oh, oh I promise. So both, okay, so both reflection will, team going yeah, out. Reflection, reflection Productions is going to be on my project. <laughs> Trust me. As the A&R of Reflection Productions, I have to promote us. There we go. No, that's clean though. That that's what you really do need so, to do. Yeah. Like we all shit. I'm fucking interning as an AR this year. It's been I feel you. No, it's mm-hmm. it's a tough game. But um Hanif, like, are you doing the same thing? Like, are you planning on dropping anything else this year? Or are you kinda done for the year? I know what you worked on was like long and hard for sure. Like pause, um, but you know what I mean? I wanted to take well, I do have like things that didn't make the project that I'm releasing. Oh, so you're are you gonna do like a deluxe thing or what are you gonna Absolutely do? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, yeah. okay, okay. I'll just drop them as singles. But, okay. Um I have remixes coming out. Elias is on a remix. Do you are you gonna do any videos this year? Do you have any plans yeah, which for song? that? Which song, honey? But, um <laughs> she, she don't even know. <laughs> 
You oh. can't you can't get a sauce. Come on, Leah. I can't tell you. I don't even know oh, what's no, going on. Yes, you do. I mean, you you just you know told now. me now, but like Hello. I didn't but, know um, before. I did just have a show at UC Theater, so yeah, I'll April thirteenth. By be, the way, oh my god, thank I got you so videos. much. I got to come in oh, you guys. Oh, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, cool, cool. you had a show this. I also day. had the same day. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. I'm sorry. I took away from your tickets. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get you on but the next one, honey. Definitely, sure. definitely. Um. Hopefully I'll be doing more shows. Okay. Um, but I will have you know singles coming out. But um, no, 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 no projects. No projects. Through. Okay. Yeah. Are you like? How do you like feel about everything right now in terms of music? Like, uh, like are you in a rut or like are you really inspired right now? Are you kind of annoyed at how music's going for other people? Like, it's it's annoying for other people. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't like where music is right now, which is why I make the type of music that I'm making. Mm-hmm. Um, but my friend, um, Troy, Troy, he gives me hope. Troy, oh. um, I'm Troy on TikTok. And oh, on SoundCloud. You're Troy? No, my friend. Your friend is. I was his, like, that's what? his handle. Um, okay, okay. He's so talented, and he he makes great R and B music, and it's oh, really amazing. Um, okay. But I, I'm I'm hoping for better rappers. Um, I mean, it's kind of like one of those things where you push forward what you get forward. You know exactly. what I mean? I feel like I also hate where music's at right now. Mm-hmm. At, at least in terms of hip hop, like I'm a very big like hip hop stand and. Yeah r&b stand and like i don't like where it's at right now but it's like it's up to you to like kind of like put it in the right hands you know exactly what I mean? yeah so like it's a beautiful thing so you're not dropping anything this year anything else but you will might be doing some singles or something yes oh and we do have a try hard video coming out oh you have a oh okay cool yeah. cool okay it's perfect. gonna be really good i'm excited for I, it. yeah i definitely think you need one of those for yes. sure like that'll be beautiful um and to that effect like Aaliyah, like how do you feel like about like how everything is going right now for reflection and like where where do you i understand we've talked about like where you want it to go but yeah. like what what's like the it, it do you see it expanding more do you want it to go somewhere else like what are you expecting for this year at least for this year not maybe years in the future but for this year, I think I want to refine and really establish for the public and for my team itself really what reflection is. Okay. I want everyone to be like, okay, we know what refl- we know we're haunting on third. We know ref- I guess who throws that ref- Aaliyah? No reflection, I mm-hmm. guess. But I want them to. I want the public to know what reflections about who we are and what we represent. Yeah. And truly, I want them to know that we're representing the stories untold. We hear the same narrative coming out the bay. You already talked about that. Mm. Sex, drugs, money, killing. And we're all sick of it. We've heard the same things. And that's why the Bay Area has stayed so stagnant in music. And I'm sick Mm. and tired of it. Me too. That's, you know, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to make reflection. Like I was, I saw so many talented people and was just like, with a little nudge in the right direction and the right business savvy, you could be a hit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I love hearing that, though. And I don't know. I like to think I'm a pretty good judge of character. Um, I feel like the people around me and my family raised me to be able to understand people very well and read them. Mm-hmm. And so the people I've selected to be on my team, Dre, Hanif, Gaia, Chris, the whole nine, Erica, and all the other folks who will soon to be uh, named because Amy. they were we're gonna f- see if they want to be named. Oh. Um, <laughs> okay, you know, yeah. we're gonna see if they want to be named. <laughs> yeah, we're still testing the waters with some folks just to make sure you know that they feel like reflections a good fit. Because I also don't want to impose reflection on anybody. But yeah, you yeah. know, um, I want the world to know what reflection is really about, which is cult essentially making sure that they know that the artist is the cultivator of the culture. You don't like the culture, be the artist that changes, changes it. it. Yeah. No, that's so, a super important thing. Yeah. Do you feel like you guys have made any headway like in terms of that? Like I, I personally like myself, I like look at um like the Rebel Sess collective of people, which is a bunch of rappers and singers and photographers as well. And I feel like we do we do a little bit and I think that people are starting to look at it, but it's one of those things where it's like, where, how do we get to this next stage or how do we get to this? And you know what I mean? And I don't think everyone thinks about that, 
But do, do you ever think about that? Like, how do you, like, what's the next obstacle to face or what's the next? I think the next phase is just really establishing what we are to the public, truly. Like, I think we need to get a website completed. We have one in the works. Mm. Uh, shout out to my cousin, Eric. He's a co- an amazing coder at SF State. There we go. Um, this dude is immaculate and really works hard at what he does. Um, we're working on getting a haunting on third to really, really, really tread some, tread some water this year. You guys did Um, something crazy last year. I mean, it was the biggest I've ever seen from you guys. You know what I mean? Like, obviously you guys have gotten bigger and bigger every year, but like, this was like such a big space and you guys filled it out pretty well, you know? And you guys had amazing vendors too, like the most tacos and yeah. all these like uh, drinking vendors and uh, eating vendors and the even weed vendor. the weed vendor, the person who the ice cream that was so that was top five. Good. I ain't gonna lie, that <laughs> was a top five forget, moment in my life for real. I forget her name, but she was amazing. Like uh, shouts out to I'm sorry, you can tell me who it, who was it. Uh, Lifted ice cream, I believe. Uh, ice cream by Lifted. No, yeah, it's ice, ice cream, cream by, by Lifted. Lifted. She's super fire. She's so cool. The crazy thing is that day I had already taken an edible because I was so stressed <laughs> out. Like I was so stressed out, and then I came and I was high, and I had and I knew I had to come to rehearsal, but I was so stressed out. And I needed a second to come, like decompress before I got in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was late a little bit. And so I had my stage managers and everybody like setting up for me while I was like on my way. Mm-hmm. Got there, lifted, was ready, and was like setting up and da da da. And she comes up to me and was like, "Hey!" She was like, "Hey, you're Aaliyah, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah, hi!" Because it was the first time we met in person. Yeah. She's like, "Thanks for this opportunity. You know, I'm really excited to be here." Da 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 da. She was like, "You want to try a scoop?" And I was like, so "No, nice. I'm okay. I'm already." She's giving out there. free scoops to everyone, bro. Mm-hmm. She was so nice. Like, so nice. I took five of them. <laughs> I'm not gonna even lie, Hanif. I almost went that way. I almost went your direction. I didn't. All right. Uh-huh. I stopped really myself. Good. I was nah, like, I knew was what good. time it was. I already it smoked was, like two months. I'm For real. Like, oh shit. Yeah, I put it the up. The crazy thing was, like, I would only, I'd, like I said, I already took the edible, but I took a sink. I was like, no, I'm okay. She was like, come on, you're the host of the show. You can't do it. You can't, you can't not. not do it. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, all right, so I don't want to make her feel bad and like reject it. So you know what? Screw it. We're gonna do it. I'm. It's out. Just, she gave me a tiny, like, the sample scoop uh-huh. on top of the edible I already had. I was so <laughs> like, gone. I barely did rehearsal. That explains I a lot, to be honest. To yeah, because you were, yeah, you were really, like, out of it. And I was like, damn, like, is she just having a really hard day? And then it's like, oh, you're just high as fuck. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense. Bro, we, oh, my gosh. I'm already, like, big on ice cream. I love ice cream. Oh, yeah. But she, the flavors were immaculate. Mm. And, like. Oh, those were custom flavors, by the way. We they were, yeah, they were yeah. great. We better yeah. be bringing her back. Oh, we for was, real. We, we already better smoked be the bring blunt, her back. but after I had, she was like, the goat of the them, night. <laughs> I was, it was like, I was gone. Yeah, you were yeah, done. I, I I wanted her to come to the Rebel U show, but like they didn't allow me to have vendors because it was oh, it was right. indoors, you know, because it was that indoor yeah. spot. But they offered us the patio for next time, which Ooh. is really good. Um, nice. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully we get a uh like i would love to have her like but that's what i'm saying is like you bring like such an amount of like community to like these events that it's like it's very thank you you. like what the fuck these (laughs) things are these are so like i feel like when i go to an event right like sometimes if you go to a san francisco event that like people that we know have put on it's usually great it's great vibes like they try and include everyone like blah 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 but then if we don't really know these people not saying that these people we don't know suck or anything but like you'll hear from someone from san francisco or oakland or richmond or whatever and they try and put on their own show and they make it like really all about them and it's like oh this one person is the whole thing like and it's like that's not what works in the bay you know what i mean and i think a lot of people don't get that like anywhere slash uh, out here as well but it's like the the art of like collaboration helps out so much like people like uh the lifted ice cream or like most tacos or like mm-hmm. hanif and dre like or yeah. this and that person you know like they bring a crowd of people mm-hmm. like it might not it might just be like their friends but like if you keep adding that over and over and over again like you get a sold out show you know exactly. what i mean and it's a beautiful feeling no thanks i like yeah you and you're right it that's exactly how the culture of like Bay Area is like we're not here for like the Ross, the Roddy Ra, the Blase Blah. Like we're here for 
the people around us. Yeah. I feel like that's just how we are and where we're at. Mm. And I don't know. I feel like to go back to your question about like, you know, what our next steps is. Honestly, I was trying I was really trying to figure out what how do I make how do I up myself? <laughs> like, yeah. How do I one up myself for real with the resources I have? Mm. But I think about that all the time too, though. You know what I mean. I mean, we're, that's what the goal is. Yeah, it's it's one of the we got meetings. Yeah, we got meetings. Yeah, meetings coming up. Baby. But that's like the cool part, you know. Like I love like people that can be like uh, they can look at themselves and be like, all right, this is good. But what's next? You know what I mean. I feel like a lot of people, especially this is the double sided coin with the bay. I feel mm-hmm. like is like. People will see what we've done and then say like, oh, you should be complacent and like you should be happy about where we're at. And like you have everything you need. Like it's toxic. Yeah. And it's like toxic. Exactly. exactly. And I think the worst part is it's normally people who didn't get to make that opportunity or don't believe in themselves enough that they could get to that potential. That's that's the crazy part too. Someone else. For real. And they're the ones who are like stunting people and being like, oh, and that's how you get the, um. What's it called? There's like a whole uh, terminology for it, but it's like a uh, it forces people into like basically the bubble. I think that's why people get stuck in the Bay Area. The Bay bubble, bubble yeah. Yeah. That's oh, I feel like that's my they, biggest conundrum. Is like I think I see what you're saying 100 percent when you say the bubble because like the bubble exists. I think like right like I again not trying to like boast myself here, but like you know sold out a show. I sold a hundred tickets. Like mm-hmm. that feels great. But it's like, I couldn't do that in Oregon. So it's like, how do I do that in Oregon? How do I do that in Washington? How do I do this in New York? How do I do, you know what I mean? Like there's, we have to like figure out how to like pop this bubble where it's like, we're, we're popping here, but like, how do you get popping at the next spot? Like Mm -hmm. I want to, you know, like, uh, recently, not recently, but like, uh, over the past what two years maybe fng has like been going out to new york and like going to oregon and all these other places and and they've i'm not gonna say they've sold out shows i'm not sure if that's right but they've like made tickets sell like they've made sure that it's not an empty house Mm -hmm. and i look at that and say how can i do that because that doesn't just put on for me and my friends that puts on for you guys that puts on for the next Mm -hmm. camp that i talk you know what i mean like there's so many avenues that we're all we're great at a lot of things but we're great at doing it here we need to figure out how to be good at doing it everywhere else Mm -hmm. you know what i mean there's so many bubbles to pop you know so like what do what do all of you guys feel about that we can we can start there if ali if you want to start like how do you feel about popping the bubble quote unquote i'm so ready to pop this bubble i've been waiting like it's a pimple bro and if you know me you know i'll be popping my acne in public i'm sorry to everybody who's ever seen me do it it's a nervous habit i am working on it um but no uh the bay area bubble i'm ready for it to pop and luckily you know at the very least i do have a couple connections to people who work very frequently outside of the bay area luckily i'm blessed to have some connections in seattle and places like that so i'm excited that hopefully and my goal is that once we're more established in the bay area and really making sure that more people know about us and Mm. that you know once again going back to what you had said you know that we elevate ourselves to that next level getting the website established making sure that videos and music is dropped um that the shows are as successful as we need them to be in order to, you know, make ends meet. Uh, and then some, I want us to take that next step and go and do a show out in New York. We were talking, uh, actually, I had my uh, communications and outreach uh, head, of, head of staff, uh, Gaia Tay, a.k.a. Gaia the Empress. We love Gaia. A.k.a. my bestie, my sister, a.k.a. my baby mama, love you. Shout out to my nephew, Cam. Um, talk to Aft at FNG. And shout out to Av, love you, dude. Um, they were talking about potentially doing a collaboration with Reflection, and after that, already like spoken up about that wanting to go. do a collaboration. So uh, though it's potentially in the works, we're gonna be talking to FNG about doing a show out in New York soon. That's fire. Okay, cool, cool. Um, Hanif, how do you feel? Like, what what would you like to do to like? I don't know. Do you feel like there's anything you can do to burst the bubble? Do you feel like um, there's a bubble? I'm I'm really involved in social media. Okay. I feel like that's also a great way. TikTok star to... over here. Do you have a crazy TikTok following, Hanif? No, not yet. What is what is a following to you? What do, what I do mean, you... it's it's growing. How daily. many followers do you have? Right now, 
like 150. Oh, okay. That's yeah, yeah you're starting it. Yeah, yeah. Starting it. That's yeah. cool. Okay. That's but, how you build a cult following. It though, is, though. When you get yeah. intimate with your followers. Yeah. Okay. But so, like, like, how do you feel about, like, are you trying to burst this bubble? Do you think there's a bubble? Like, what I do, do you feel? think there is a bubble. Okay. Um, It's hard for me to break it, but I feel like collectively we all have um, a way in. Yeah. You know? Um, We should. I feel like we're definitely. On the verge of breaking elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's just all a matter of time to you, it's, really. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, okay. How do you feel about it, Dre? Like, what do you, oh how do you feel about God. it? Oh, my God. This Bay Area bubble has been around since... Forever. It's been around since before we were the born, a- for exactly. sure. Exactly. It's been around since the 80s. Yeah, long uh, time. E-40 couldn't even get past this bubble for, for a minute. Real. It took him years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard the like? Sorry to like cut you off really not quick, cool, but yeah. like, Crabs there's the like the huh? Crabs in the bucket. It, sure, no, no, no. That's not where I'm going with it though. So uh, recently, someone had told me someone that's outside from the Bay Area had like talked to me about Too Short, and we were having a long conversation, and they're like, Too Short's biggest song didn't come till he was 40 with the Tell Me When to Go or whatever, you know. And it's like I don't see it that way because I'm here, so like I hear all of Two Shorts like greatest music, you know. Wait, Two Short did twenty? Tell me when to go. Or sorry, not tell me when to go. Um, the Whistle? what's my favorite word, oh, bitch? bitch. What what is that song called? I'm sorry, I I can't even remember. Blow the whistle. Blow, Blow the whistle. whistle. Blow the man. I sound so fake for not Ooh. knowing that. <laughs> okay, they go get you. But you get what I mean, though. He's like, valid, guys. come on. But you get what I mean. Like it's like. Here's this person who we think is like already a legend, right? Like it's a person who's like super built up in our heads, but then like if you ever went anywhere out outside, people would be like, "Oh, the blow the whistle guy," and it's like, "What? What do you mean?" Because like, if you if you from the Bay Area, you know that Two Shores greatest hit was freaky tales oh. <laughs> come on, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, like it's like there's so much like that we haven't reached yet, and it's like like you know what do you feel like? going forward about it uh it takes a lot of time patience honestly i feel like the bubble itself it's it's it was past people's doing like yeah. it was past artists and past producers that wanted to just go out and do it themselves so the independent life was already a factor in the bay area being an independent was already a thing. It's a huge, yeah, it's a huge part of barrier culture too. So it's like, to break that, it feels like we have to go backwards a little bit. Oh, okay. So like, do you think though, like to that effect, what you're saying, like, do you think like someone should, from the Bay Area at least, like should sign to like a major maybe? That's or? the thing. It's already happened. 24K signed. 24, yeah. And he's a, he's a, yeah. So it's like, that's not, it's not like it's not a thing, but it's the fact that the popping artist, the people, the one that the people is backed behind, mm-hmm. he won't sign. Yeah. 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 He'll stay in. That's crazy to think about. You say that, right? Like uh, 24K, like, he's obviously like a huge pop star like uh, amazing levels of success Mm -hmm. but like i see him now like moving back towards the band being like what can i do to like help the bay area scene and it's it's a weird thing because i'm like you're a pop like you're an insane star like people love you everywhere you go but like to that effect you go home and people are like who the fuck like i don't give a fuck about your shit and it's like this is fucked up like this is our like person that we should like put up on a pedestal and be like this is the bay like you know what i mean Mm -hmm. even though he doesn't have the traditional bay sound you know what's crazy to me um i was looking at the genius documentary and anybody who's seen the genius documentary and is from san francisco specifically bayview knows that uh kanye came to bayview specifically to buy pottery from an no artist in the Bayview in like the back streets on Egbert. When was this? It was, I don't even know, but I don't know this how Kanye like got on my block. This was back in 2008. This was like yeah. a minute. Okay. But he, no, but it was recent. It was very recent. He came. Oh, no, it was not. It was very recent. You got a new one? 
It was in Edinburgh, was Edinburgh was Street. Ed- yeah, Edinburgh mm. Ave, because there's a bunch of warehouses on that street, and there's a pottery owner. There's like a pottery shop person. She makes like really abstract art, I guess. Uh, I think she's an Asian woman. If I was, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, you know, shout out to her for making amazing art. But a lot of people come to San Francisco specifically and to Bayview and to our neighborhoods and the culture districts that we have where there's a lot of really super dope, specific and incredibly unique traits that we have, that we create, that we make. Mm -hmm. They take advantage. They see it. They take advantage. And then they don't give back and say, fuck you to the Bay Area every single time. I don't know what it is about the Bay Area that niggas just like to shit on. But, you know, hey, I guess. It's that it's privilege kind of thing, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's that. So privilege. We poor. They really think No, the no, but I'm saying the, <laughs> I'm saying the, the person broke. making it. But no, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right, though. And I think that needs to stop. I think we as a culture, and I think the thing that's crazy is that, like, people like to be like, oh, yeah, New York's the shit. da 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 Ma- Or Chicago and Miami and da 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 Seattle, Portland, wherever the fuck you're from. L.A. And in actuality, a lot of those people touch the Bay Area first. Yep, yep. Everybody loves Tupac. Mm-hmm. That Sorry. nigga came Marin. down to Oakland. Hella. Yep, Marin, Oakland. Yep, he's yep. all around there. He was always over here. It, yeah, it's like that for hella people, too. It's like know? that for hella people. And no, everybody finds out hella late. And they're mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, Oakland's always in the back shots mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. whatever B-roll they have for when they visit the city real quick. Mm-hmm. And then they jump back to whatever they're doing because they took that inspiration. For real. And then they just left. Yeah. And they didn't give back to the culture. That's one Come of those on few things, though. Like, oh, do you feel straight. like, uh, well, we got to end it in 30 minutes. But let Dang. me just, let's figure this out real quick. So, like. Uh, do you feel like Pac though was like one of those people that kind of did give back to the Bay? Because he he shoot threw a lot of shout outs at yes. the time when he was around. I feel like it happens uh, not as not as much, but like uh, there's like a group, right? It's like a defined thing. It's like either you love the Bay Area and you're going to talk about it all the time, or you have stayed in the Bay Area and you hate it, so you're just going to talk about how much you think it sucks. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's a it's that kind of that line from the last black man in San yep. Francisco where he says. You, you can't, can't hate it, it unless you love, love it. it. Yeah. yeah, it's like, that's how Fact. I feel, you know? There's a lot of things I don't like about the Bay Area, but, like, I love it so much that all I want to do is just, I want it to get better, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not going like to hate it, on it. It's like, uh, you you relate to this, because we both have talked about, like, you know, caretaking for, you know, older, older folks. folks. Yeah, yeah. And it's kind of like that. It's like watching your like the auntie you really love that like was always hella fun, but she got dementia and she's a yeah, little crotchety she's gone, now. She's losing it a little. She, yeah, yeah, she's losing it a little bit. And yeah. she's really crotchety all the time lately. Mm-hmm. And you're just kinda like I love you, Auntie. Yeah, yeah. Like, but this is tough. Fix, this is yeah, difficult. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It takes a village and to that effect that it works perfectly saying mm-hmm. that. It takes a village. Like I don't think mm-hmm. any person should ever take care of an older person by themselves. I think mm-hmm. it should be a community of people. The same and way with the, the city and with San the Bay Francisco. Area. Yeah, and you know, Bay it's like whole, yeah. if you love it, like you have to. That's what I feel like. I really like about what you guys are doing with reflection and myself as well. And it's like we're we're trying to build bridges to things that we maybe don't understand. Like there's a lot of worlds that I've been in that I'm I've never grown up in, and like I see it, and it's it looks horrible and it looks disgusting. Like not trying to be horrible these people but it's like these are things that they need to tell yeah these are stories and truths that they need to tell to like make things go forward and i see that a lot with reflection productions because you are bringing in multimedia artists from every you know um but so that's perfect uh we're gonna end it do you guys have anything you want to say really fast let's make it i want to say something real quick because they talked about their music i didn't get to talk about mine like i dropped a song as well it's called 401k dre davis is a feature uh, talking shit mainly um love it's my favorite part of the song uh yeah stream it as well on available everywhere gang okay so we'll catch Captain y'all Saber later retirement plan oh peace love you guys peace we love you thanks cutty conversations gang Ye- <laughs> oh.